solution you go to brew.sh to install homebrew so you just copy this code so you open terminal and then you paste this code and hit enter it will ask for your password so enter it and it says it will say downloading and installing homebrew Okay, now the installation is done, installation successful, so the next thing you will, we need to do is follow these steps. Um, need to copy this and hit enter. And then um, this one, copy and then enter. To Google search for wine skin and open the second link. Make sure it's the GitHub page. And then uh, once you're in this page, you scroll down to the how to install section, copy the code, go back to terminal and paste it and then enter. So um, on this step, it will try to download and install. And once you see this, um, this message, an official wineskin was successfully installed. So you, you also see here that it's moving app. So it means that the winery app or the wineskin app is in your applications folders. Okay, so just search for Ragnarok Origin Duobo and then you open the page and you download the Windows installer. Right, and you look for winery wine skin winery right click and click open and you should see something like this uh, next step we'll need to do is click plus we need to install an engine we need to click the plus button and click this drop down menu and make sure you select the the most recent one so the most recent one is 22.1.1 dash rc1 so click on that and then click download and install and click OK and uh, once you're back here click update so um, we will update the wrapper version to the engine that we selected okay now the next thing that we'll need to do is we how we now have our engine installed we also have our wrapper version updated so the next thing we'll need to do is click new blank wrapper so click that and you can name this anything you want so let's say or direct origin global or whatever you want it's fine and click ok so on this step here it may seem that your or uh, the, the app is freezing but it's not it may take a few minutes depending on your machine so just wait until it finish okay now it says proper creation finished blah 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 and what you'll need to do so next step that you'll need to do is you'll need to right click on the wrapper and click show package contents then you'll have this um this files here next you'll need to do is open up wine skin again um it would be best if you right click and click open and uh, once you have this once the wine skin is open the next thing that you'll need to do is install software so do that uh, choose setup executable so here we need to find the installer the Ragnarok installer so if you downloaded that um, do that select and allow just click OK and wait for it to finish yeah just extract it it's fine
just wait for it. It's still, I think it's still trying to load. Okay, so um, you should see this prompt showing warning: no new executable executable found. Uh, maybe the installer failed. So what you'll need to do here is um, click OK, and you need to copy a folder inside. So you'll need to copy that folder inside. So you click copy. You go to downloads and you select game launcher and choose and here um, it says please, sel please select which acceptable file is normally used so click on the drop down and select game launcher so you notice that the first one is under the updater and cache folder so you need to navigate to the program files game launcher and game launcher.exe make sure that you change that click OK and once you're done with that you can click quit you can go back here and you can open the wrapper that you created so and it should take a few seconds to load So now here as you can see it's trying to um, so this is the Ragnarok launcher so the next thing that you need to do is is download the um, the patch or yeah the actual game so this is a 5 gig file so it may take some time so I'll be back once it's done Um, once the the download is done, it's the um, the app or Ragnarok launcher should should look like this. So it means that um, the actual game has been downloaded. So um, I'll try to start. and then um, if you see it like a uh, like a prompt like this always click or choose the blue one and uh, this one I think it's cancel depends but um, I, I, I mean um, it should resemble the one or the, 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 the same thing in Go on an adventure. Almost here.
Use the virtual joystick to move. You can tap the quest tab to take on quests. Go sign okay, up now. Now the uh, WASD should not be working. Like in the situation. Okay, now that the game is now full installed and playable, so the next step that we'll need to do is probably you'll want to create a shortcut into your desktop and select your own icon. So what we'll need to do next is first we'll open up Finder. We'll need to find that uh, the app. So once you're in Finder at the menu, you click go and you go to home. And um, you need to go to applications wine skin and then you'll find your app here so again um finder go home applications wine skin and you have your um, app here so before we add a shortcut i want to show you how you can change the the icon so first you'll need to right click this you click show package contents and you open wine skin and you'll see this menu again then here you'll have to click advance so um, we'll open up chrome and we will search for an image so ragnarok origin global logo and i want to use this image we want to use this this image so um if we open this image in a new tab it so i think it's fine so let's try to save image as uh, the only thing is that I don't think this is JPEG or PNG, so we just you you can like click and drag the image into the search bar so that it will search for similar images. Because this one it's not a PNG. I mean, there's a way, but it's too troublesome. So. Okay, this one I think this one should work. Open image in a new tab. Hopefully this is something we can use. Right click, save image as. Let's try. Yeah, it's JPEG, so that's fine. Now once we have saved that, uh, click browse on one skin advance. Look for that file there it is choose and yeah and then i uh, you go to tools and you click refresh wrapper and just wait for it to finish okay and you can close this one you can go back to the one skin folder and you can drag this to the applications or you can drag this to um to your desktop or you can also create like uh, make an alias and drag this to the desktop you can open the finder go to desktop and it should be there and you can drag it to your dock let's rename it first so you can now open this file That's it now. I'm a so every man, depending on your MacBook specs, for every man just do 10 or 20. I'm doing 60 here. And uh, I think that's all. This should, everything should be working fine.